look at all this good stuff. I cheated and I took a bite already. Um, but I'm so excited to give you guys my little review on Back to Brooklyn. Okay, so I'm doing an at-home burger review today. Usually I do them in my car, but um, this burger is actually from a restaurant of a friend of mine's, Jamie Love. It's called Back to Brooklyn. That's his restaurant, that's what it's called. Um, give you a little rundown on the restaurant. It's um, finer dining, but like cool crowd, chill in, Brooklyn style. Everything on the menu is very New York style. Jamie has a way better way of describing it than I do. But today he gave me um, not only a burger, but he gave me a couple things to try. So um, I did try it with him first, just so he could see my reaction. And uh, I'm sorry, you missed the reaction first, but um, you're in for a treat here. So this is the burger. Um, I'm not sure of the ingredients. The menu is online. So if I say anything wrong, check it out online. So there's a house-made sauce that was secret sauce. There are some mushrooms, bacon, arugula, and a nice like New York burger that's like medium rare in the middle. I love that. Uh, he also gave me one of their main dishes. So it's all takeout containers um, because obviously we have the COVID right now, but this is their roast chicken. Uh, look at all those green, lovely veggies. This. Um, is a little tempanade on top of it. I'm not really sure of the terminology. And so this is a New York authentic cheesecake. Um, it was a secret, secret recipe from Chef Sutherland, I believe he said it was. Um, so they bought the recipe from the chef. So they own the rights to this holier than thou cheesecake. Okay, so we're gonna get started with the burger of course let me dig in here and have a couple bites and tell you a couple thoughts <laughs> mm. You know, I always gotta get that double bite. Mm. Let me swallow first. So, first off, I just wanna say, this is the best burger that I've tried in Ottawa, if not in the world. I always tell people the best burger I ever tried was with this burger I had in New York City. Well, this restaurant's called Back to Brooklyn. Sorry, I'm stumbling on my words with excitement. So this restaurant's called Back to Brooklyn. So this is like a Brooklyn burger, my style. The cheese, you can really taste the cheese. Like it's not a subtle cheese where you're just like, I want some more. The cheese is really mm, pungent. I don't know what the word vocabulary would be. I love mushrooms on my burgers. I'm not sure the type of mushrooms they are, these are, but they're the bomb um this is crispy little bacon it's not so it's not really a pancetta it is a bacon i'm not supposed to eat bacon but i can't resist all around this is uh this is where i come to life this is my jam i should have some music on it's kind of music it's kind of the oh my god it's the kind of food that makes you want to dance. Sorry. Smoked a little weed before I have this. Okay. Mm. Napkin. I don't know how to edit videos on YouTube, so I'm just going to make this a whole live stream, basically. No clipping, no cutting, just going with the flow here. Um... I'll try the chicken next. Got some cutlery included with my takeout. Put my shirt up a little bit. Outfit of the day. Mm. 
All right, so let's try this chicken. Okay, so I'm not sure what the sauce is on top. I asked him, he wasn't sure either. Um, he said, if there's so much information overload, he said all of the information is on their website. So it's back to Brooklyn. Just Google it. I'm not sure if there's, that's their exact website name, but Google it, it should pop up. It's in Ottawa, Ontario at 81 Clarence Street. Mm. Let me tell you, I know some people are gonna cringe at the word moist, but that's a moist piece of chicken. Oh, the flavors are incredible. Oh my God. And I'm not, get, when I go to a restaurant, roast chicken's not the first thing that comes to mind that I would order, but this is something I would definitely order again when I go back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then they have all kinds of vegetables with it. So it's a pretty healthy alternative when you're going to a restaurant to have this kind of dish. Mm. Vegetables are al dente, like I like them. Moving right along now to the cheesecake. Ooh. Also, also I may add, they have all keto options. I don't really know what that means, but there was a keto version of this cheesecake and my friend Jamie is also eating a keto version of the burger. We had a bite together, you know. He wanted to see my reaction. It was a good one. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm already like food gasming a little bit there. I need to take a moment and just praise that this exists in my life. I'm going to have late night cravings for this. I am going to be calling them. I'm going to, I'm going to get fat off of this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat the whole thing right now. But I'm not, because I wanna get back to that burger. Mm. Good food just gets me really excited, guys. So don't mind if I'm dancing around a little bit to no music. Ooh, that's a little Britney. <laughs> I'm getting carried away now. Okay, so one last bite of the burger, and I'll finish this up. So I give that burger, I always randomly do ratings and then I don't do ratings. I give this burger 1300 out of 10. I give that chicken for somebody who likes to eat chicken at a restaurant, I would probably give it 100%. Um, the cheesecake, cheesecake is something you write home to your mama about, okay? You let her know you're coming to Ottawa to try this fucking cheesecake. It's gonna blow your brains out. So the restaurant is called Back to Brooklyn. Um, I have a lot of friends that are already working there. I walked in to pick up my takeout and I was like, hey, I know you, I know you, I know you. Anyways, it's, um, new it's the interior is insane it makes you feel like you're in central park like there's beautiful trees they have um two patios 300 people capacity um at nighttime they'll turn it into a little nightlife it's kind of for like my generation of people who like to chill have a glass of wine eat some food and you know have some classy drinks with some friends like no crazy 
trashy party where everything's crowded in the club. Like I'm not about that clubbing life anymore. So um, really think I'm gonna be seeing you guys there this summer when everything gets open back up again. Um, yeah, food was amazing. I can't wait to try the drinks. We'll see you there. Back to Brooklyn.